So, we are here in a brand new shine dungeon. I hope you're ready to get shiny with me. We've got a pair of my favorite Magnanis. I believe it was one of my last shoes to shine in the previous, um, actually, Shine Dungeon 2.0. What we're going to do is strip off some of this wax, clean them up, give them a good conditioning, bring some of that color back, then take them to Shinatown. Here we go. First off, we're going to try something new. I've got a little tool here, a little happy heat gun. Harry the heat gun. And we're going to melt some of these layers of wax. Wait for that thing to heat up. It takes a few seconds for that heat gun to really start heating up and then you'll start to notice those layers of wax will just kind of get a little bit more hazy. It doesn't take too long once the heat gun is warmed up. Now that we got those waxes heated up we're just going to wipe them right off. Check that out. Still leaves a little bit of wax in those pores, but removes quite a bit of that buildup. Oh hey, what's up sweetie? There goes little Rain Rain. She wants to say hi to you guys. Alright, so already, look at that difference. Cracky, crusty layers of wax on that one. Not much on that one. That's right, Ray. Right. We're not using it too hot here. Just hot enough to melt some of those wax layers. Now that we've got some of those layers of wax melted down, let's get a little bit more of that off of there. Even it out a little. Just be careful when you're resting that heat gun on the, any surface that might catch fire. I'm resting mine on a rubber surface with a little ceramic tile where the heating element would come in contact, so pretty safe over there. Alright, so now that we've got a nice little starting point here, I like to give them a nice little bath. Get sudsy. Almost time for a new tin of saddle soap here.
uh, keeping the shoes in the, or I'm sorry, the shoe trees, cedar shoe trees for that matter, inside the shoe here. We're keeping it nice and formed here, keeping those creases out of the shoe while we work on it. Sometimes it makes life a little easier when they're up on those little shoe mounts there. But other times I like to just hold it like it's a little little fish and just kind of work it. Work that fish. I mean shoe. Nice and clean. Get those little sudsies out of the nooks and crannies there. Sometimes I'll alternate between the Beauty the Cure Saphir Cream Polish here and the Medal Dior Cream Polish of the same color. And the reason for that is sometimes the Shea Butter tends to really sit on the surface a little bit more than the Beauty the Cure version here which I find to have a little bit more of the terps in there to kind of really deeply condition the leather. Isn't that right, Mary? So by using this kind of method here, I'm trying to leave a little bit of the streaky pattern in the direction of the length of the shoe. And sometimes you'll find that kind of custom patina look on some of these Magnani's. So I'm trying to bring back that, that almost wood grain strokes, a little darker in certain areas, giving it a little bit of a cool patina.
Come here, what are you doing? It's okay. I'll let you go chase spiders later.
You know, there's a lot of ways to shine a shoe. And I think we all have the same objective of trying to get them looking as good as possible. But sometimes I think less is more than some of us classic shoe shiners out there. Just keep it on the tip. You know, when you really take them overboard and start layering too much wax on the shoe, you can notice they start to show a little age there. So sometimes you gotta strip them all the way down. Get those layers of wax built up off of there. The only way to do that sometimes is stripping them all the way down using that method with the heat gun. But also sometimes other solutions. I like to use some rubbing alcohol, but you gotta be careful when you do that because sometimes you can strip off the finish a little bit too much. So there's an art to it. Everybody's got a different art that they practice. That's what makes it fun. You kind of make it your own, one, your own adventure. Like a little rain rain over there with their little plastic bag. No rain rain rain. Plastic bags are not a toy, Rain Rain.
So now you can kind of start to really feel it. Glissage. It's such a fun word to say, isn't it? I think the definition is something like the matte kind of gloss or uniform pattern that the frosting makes as it spills over the corners and curves of the cake. That could be way off, but that's the way I look at it. Is it cake? Is it cake? My technique here is just kind of starting on the edges, meeting in the middle, kind of spreading it around a little bit, little layer by little layer, and bring them to Chinatown. Yeah, we're just kind of wrapping up here, just putting little layers on top of those little layers. just want to thank you all for watching. Hope you all learned something today. And uh, welcome to the new Shine Dungeon. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Appreciate you guys. That was a big chunk of wax. By gently slapping the shoe. Slap! You gotta use a little bit of that meat on that little chicken chicken wing there.
Not too shabby. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Stay shiny. No, 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 no,